Okay, everybody. So now, our database, our data, um, our database software and database have actually been created, and this is where our SP file is located, right? And this is our name of our database, right? As you can see, and normally we do password management, and put it to unlock our user accounts, but actually in this time, we don't care for that. Actually, just going to hit. We can just wait. Same thing. We can just unlock the HR account. Then we can unlock the the Scott account. Make the HR account. Make this HR. Make this also HR. And then press OK. Yes. Press OK. So now the last thing that, that it's doing is running the root.sh script. Everything else on the right should say succeeded. Everything should say succeeded. Okay, so it's gonna ask us, like I said before, it's gonna tell us to run these scripts. To run the script on, our, on node one and node two. So we're gonna run it first on node one. So I'll open up a new tab. So I log in as root. I paste this. Let's come back here. Let's come back here. And let's paste this. Enter, 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 enter again. All right, so now let us do this as let's SSH to node 2. Okay, so now let's log in as root. And now let us paste this in node two. As you can see, so this is where I am. So I did SSH new way 02 and then when I was in new way from 01, I did this. So now I'm in no 02. So I I switch users to root. So now I'm running this script as root in no two. Press enter about four times. Now we've run both scripts. Now we simply click OK. Come back here. And as you can see, the installation of your Oracle database was successful. Now you simply hit close. So that completes our rack installation. If you do it just like that, you will succeed, right? So how do we know that we've connected to our Oracle? I mean, that we've, we've, we've created a, a three node rack, I'm sorry, a two node rack cluster. So simply now, all we have to do now is we can simply switch user to grid from node one actually we can close this close close this guy as well we don't need that right so now we simply do dot o r a e n v to confirm and then since we're in node one plus esm is is fine so let let me increase this Right, so we did dot space ORA environment. Let's change our environment. So now we're going to or just press enter for plus ASM one. Right, so we simply do what CRSCTL 
stat res dash t. Let's make sure everything is up. Fantastic. So everything should be online for CRS DG data, FRA, everything's online, online. The only thing that should be offline is the GSD, which we do not use. And as you can see, the database rack DB, right, is running both on node one and on node two, as you can see that, right? Another thing that you would do is server control status database. So server control status database dash D space rack DB rack DB. So let's get the status of the database and see if it's running on both, right? So as you can see, it's running on both. So this now concludes the installation and creation of a two node rack cluster, right? We've not only created it, but we've also verified that what? That rack is actually running on what? On that, that we've created the, the cluster, the two node rack cluster. Another thing that we can do is we can launch ASM's command, ASM CMD. So actually look at what? Look at our physical file. So we do LS. So these are the three disk groups. So now if I want to see everything that's in a data, data did it um, this group so I do CD space data DG this is not case sensitive I do LS I do CD rack DB I do LS again you see all our control files data file redo law file SP file temp file SP file and this is a parameter file as well right all these are on the data DG disk group right so if i want to go back i do cd and dot dot cd dot dot right so right now right now if i want to see what is in my sr um crs dg so i do c cd crs dg ls then i do cd wrap scan i do ls so you can see ASM, SP file, and OCR. So if I want to go to my OCR, OCR file, I do LS, you see, it's my registry, right? So these are just a few ways that you can, that we're verifying that everything is all good to go, right? So this concludes the installation and creation of a two node rack cluster, right? All right, if you follow these directions exactly as I did it, you should also have the same success right now if i want to if i want to connect to my database i would simply do this right clear my screen so now i'm logged in as as an oracle user on new way 01 so i do dot space o-r-a-e-n-v then this is rack db rack db1 so actually what i need to do now is i need to vi my etc aura tab so i'm going to put i for insert now i'm going to change this from rack db to rack db1 then i'm going to save this file so now when i do the aura emv and i press enter again all right so now we're good so I do SQL plus slash as sysdba. All right, so connect it to. So select name from v dollar database rack db. Okay, select member from v dollar log file. Select member from gv dollar log file right you can see it, it doubles it right um, select name from v dollar data file so as you can see guys because we're using an ASM file system 
it's now plus DG, right? It's now plus DG. Everything that we create is going to be on a particular disk group. So creating a table space, a t um, a data file, anything, right? It's all going to be what? On the data disk group because we're using ASM file system, right? All right. So these are the ways that we just confirmed that what? We have successfully created a two node rack cluster. All right. Okay. So guys, if you do everything like I asked you to do, you should have no problem configuring it from start to finish. All right. And again, if you need training on how to do all this, we can you can learn how to do all this live and in person at newwayitsolutions.com, right? New Way IT Solutions. You can either watch it here on on the website or you can do it you can do it live and in person but again if you do all this live i mean if you if you if you watch this video right you should be able to do everything with no problems all right guys so i'll talk to you soon bye now